once you had an opportunity to kind of rewatch the game and maybe go back through all of the plays, what was your kind of your final assessment of your play? What did you like about what you did, and what what frustrated you about your play? Um, I would say the biggest thing that frustrated me was that I didn't come through when my team needed me. Um, you know, obviously, I had the two interceptions in the first half, but I mean, got to look past that stuff and. You got to come through, and the team needs you, and that's something I didn't do, so that kind of stuck with me. Carried it 19 times. That surprised you how much you, you ran it, or is that sort of your expectation that that might be your, your load every game? Uh, I don't really, I don't really go into the game expecting, like, and trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I kind of just be in the moment. So, like, if if that's what I need to do to help us win, that's that's kind of what I'm going to do. How much have you watched that Minnesota team? The most definitely, I've watched it a couple of times. Um, just looking at different things, different factors, and things that I can get better on. Like um, even the things that I did good, just seeing how I can perfect those things. So I'm um, just constantly trying to get better. Coach Satterfield remarked how well you went into contact when you ran. Mm -hmm. Did you did you ever think about slide, or are you just not a slide guy? Uh. I mean, I don't think, I think there was times where I could have slid yeah. or got out of bounds. So I think that's something that I definitely need to take into account when I'm running the ball because um, I know I don't need to be trying to run, in, run into people, run over people. So um, I think that's just something that I got to think about while I'm on the field. Sounds like a dumb question, but how do you practice that? Uh, I guess you just think about it. Like you just put an extra emphasis on it. Hard to do in the moment when your, your inner competitor comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it definitely is because you you trying to fight for every yard you can get. It's, it's uh, clear from your career numbers that you know you, you work hard at Georgia Tech to cut down on your interceptions. You know they went down from year one to year two to year three. So what kind of fundamentals or what kind of aspects of you know the training that went into that in the previous three years can you fall back on here? You know after that game. Um, it was just, it's just really just going back out there, watching the film and fixing your mistakes. Um, I think when, when you have a game like that, it's, it's good to watch it and just keep analyzing and seeing what you did wrong and learning from it. And that, that all goes into your head while you're on the field at practice, while you're on the field in the game. And it's just, you just put extra emphasis on it. How important is it that you really can't go this week in the offense? Oh, it's really important. Billy is a, a guy that can, um, do great things with the ball. So. Um, we just got to give him the ball. Do you feel like you your experience as a starting quarterback and, you know, getting past whether it's a really good performance or a really bad performance, just a certain moving on to the event of your experience helping with that? Yeah, most definitely because um, you know that there's going to be a time when things don't go your way. So you just got to learn how to learn from it and move on and take every um, take every moment as a lesson. What did the TCU game tell you about how well you uh, they're a good team. Um, I'm very excited to play them, and um, he's got to go out there and play outside of football and execute. Jeff, given the nature of you know, transferring here, you took over the starting quarterback job and took over a locker room and looking at some theater, I don't know if you feel like you're putting extra pressure on yourself because they're looking at you to make, make a play. Uh, I wouldn't say putting extra pressure on myself because I already, like, I'm the type of person I always put a lot on myself, but I think that helps me. It helps me as a person just to hold myself accountable to do things that I need to do and um, just put in the extra work that I need to. Uh, yeah, Marcus is an experienced guy, so um, anytime he's on the field, you know he's going to bring that experience role to the to the table and just go out there and do what he needs to do. Yeah, it's kind of typical just to, I like to, I like to analyze every situation. So like, I'll probably watch the game and then probably dive into the next opponent. But I just like to be, I just like to be here watching it and just analyzing everything I can. How different is the spotlight on you now compared to when you had at Georgia Tech? Just the amount of critics, experts, people that probably have 
made comments about your game or at Georgia Tech, I'm guessing there weren't probably as many of those people uh, in terms of the fan base? Uh, I wouldn't really say, I would say it's a bigger spotlight, but as far as critics wise, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really know because I don't really pay attention to that type of stuff. Um, I think just being at Nebraska and knowing how big this fan base is, how much they care about football, that's that's probably the biggest difference with the spotlight. But um, other than that, it's really all football at this point. With uh, IGC out, um, how much extra time have you been spending uh, working with some of the younger receivers, and what do you like about them? Uh, you can tell they're ready to play. Like you can tell they're hungry, and um, just making sure that they know that we trust them, that we believe in them, and just making sure that they go out there every day knowing that we're gonna need them to play, and we're gonna need, we're gonna depend on them. What did what did Satterfield and uh, Coach Keith Michelle tell you after at, in the last couple of days? Say it again. What did Satterfield and the quarterback coach, the GA, tell you in the last couple of days about putting the last game into bed and moving on? I mean. It's football, it's college football. They just told me, um, like any other coach would say, I mean, we got a game next week, so you can't dwell on it too much. You got to learn from what you did wrong, build on what you did right, and go out there and fix the mistakes. Is there a specific key that you're looking to target in on? Playing uh, execution. Um, really, on all, on all cylinders, so like penalties, uh, pre-snap penalties, and um, just overall execution of the offense. Right. After getting hit first time in a while. Felt good. Felt good this week? Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. I mean I mean, um I put on a lot of weight, so um it, it kinda helped me out in that sense. And um just the recovery that we have here as a um team, they've been doing a good job with us. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff.